What's up everybody? Welcome to another Angler X video. In this week's video, I'm down on Pool 9 with Dave from DWS Outdoors. Now when Dave got a hold of me and wanted to come up and fish the Mississippi with me, he said, Lance, let's go catch some perch. I said, well, Dave, I don't really go for perch in the open water, but uh, let's go see what we can find. Anyway, watch this video and you'll see what we did find down on Pool 9 fishing for perch. Now in this video, I'm using my Radcliffe Customs uh, Carbon X rod. It's a six foot two extra fast light rod and it's just absolutely perfect for catching these perch. I'm just using six pound test and a 16th ounce jig and I'm just hooking a minnow right through the bottom of the head and up through the nose and I'm just slowly bringing that down along the bottom and that's how I caught my perch. Dave's using a slip bobber setup and we're both catching fish. Don't go anywhere, I think you're going to love this week's video, Fishing for Perch on Pool 9. open water. <laughs> it counts. I don't care how small it is. There's one. Little guy. I need to get I need to get bigger before I get excited. There's one. That feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. There you go. Get him in. <laughs> How big is that? Well, he's that pretty. 10? Might be ten. Nine. Nine and nine and a quarter. Nine mm -hmm. and a half almost. Yeah. It didn't take long. To find these perch, we're looking in areas where there's a little bit of flow and some sort of a weed line. Now eelgrass is very good for holding perch. The perch love the eelgrass and anywhere you can find a little bit of flow, an eelgrass edge in some sort of bottom transition, those are the areas you want to target for perch. In this particular slough we have a low flow, we have a range of 8 to 10 feet, and then we have the eelgrass edge and the bottom transitions from sand into mud going into the eelgrass. These types of areas are perfect for perch. You just got to stay on the move and once you locate a fish or two then slow down to catch more and more perch. Yeah. I was like he's got it, he's got it. <laughs> nice little perch, and he's back. I think we're figuring something out here. There you go. That is so crazy. <laughs> I'm just not used to that's a perch. That's so cool. Decent one. I think we're figuring something out here. Not giants, but they're nice, nice size. Happy to figure an eater bite out any day. There's one. It's a better fish. It's a perch. That's a perch. You're not gonna swing him, right? It's a giant. You wanna net him? I was gonna say, I don't know if you want me to grab him. Pull my arm. How big do you think they are? I don't know. I can measure him. Yeah. Give it to Lance to get the biggest one. <laughs> oh, Barracuda. It's pinned on there, too. That's more like it, huh? Giant. I would say 13 and a half. What's your guess? You got a guess? Uh, yeah. It's 
Pretty close to 14. That's 14 right there. Oh, it is 14. Even if you close the mouth. Yeah, just a fuzz over 14. Giant. Let's go back. <laughs> so he'd eat your minnow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So I have a, so guys, I have a giant minnow sitting under a slip bobber over that. This is what's supposed to be on there. But apparently you need to be dragging it along the bottom. Yep, never seen a perch dig. <laughs> that's a first for me. I was like, are you sure? You're like, that's a perch. <laughs> Just, I could feel the head shaking. Yeah. Does it feel like a small walleye? No, but more just rapid head shakes. Like a vicious, like a like a pit bull kind of thing. Oh, there you go. Drop it. No, he's still there. Still plugging it. Oh, I got another one. Good one. Another good one. That's Sagar. Northern. northern. Is that northern? Small northern. Yeah, you keep him busy. <laughs> Did you miss yours? This would be a nice perch. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh. There he is. Well, there's gotta be more perch in here. Those guys are coming in. Try it. Oh. Keep them. What do you think? Too small? I think out here a perfect size is at like 9 to 11. Yeah, I agree. It's crazy how you can do that. You can just, yeah, it's right on that edge. Dinkies. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> the minnow stealer. Put him back on for bait for that 14. <laughs> you gotta have small perch if you want big perch. Yeah. You also need big perch if you want big perch. <laughs> Every big perch was a small perch at one time. I'm gonna get the one that's full of your minnows. <laughs> there you go. Ah, there goes my minnow, and he's alive. You suck, you're getting eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Just big enough to clean. That was literally in the spot that you just missed that one. Yeah, I'm betting what you're doing is you're literally, it's swooping down into the hole and you're just dragging it just out of it and that's when they're stealing it from you. I see that. <laughs> he was on there. He must have just had the minnow. Yeah. Good one. Not good enough. Caught him. <laughs> Literally got to let him like suck it down. I said I watched the barber going, and I'm like one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Because every time I've been jerking it right after it goes under, they pulls it right out. Oh. There we go. Good one. Another big one. Yeah. Eater. Yep. Nice fish. Yeah. I'm just curious because I think that's probably an 11 and it just looks big because of the colors. Yeah, he might be ten, 10 and a half. You think so? Yeah. That's, 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 that's why I was saying like, I think 11, like if you had a bunch of 11s, you're, you're doing really good. I got us out just a little bit deeper, so I'm over 10 now. Oh, you did move it? Because that's just how I've always known perch was like... There go. Okay. Yeah, so apparently I don't need to go that far from the boat. <laughs> go right here. Um, yeah, it was like middle of summer, middle of winter, deep. Late, late summer, fall, first ice, jello. Yeah. So late ice, spring, jello. But then spring too. People will catch them up by the dam in 15, 20 feet of water too. Right, but that's so on a river, that's a stoppage point. 
Yeah. So they don't have a choice. They're in whatever water is there. Yep. You can find them in different stuff. But yeah, you're right. When they get up to the dam, it's like, okay, this is all the further I can go. Yeah, that, that was my favorite part about growing up on rivers is like, you just go to the dams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're fish everything, magnets. Everything goes there and it can't go anywhere else. Then you walk downstream from a dam and you actually have more population within the first mile of that than anywhere else in the river. Plus, the, at the dam, there's tons of bait too. So yeah. the, the, well, bait and oxygen. So the predator fish stay there. There you go. Good one. Yep. You swing him. Up here. He hit it pretty aggressively. Beating? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Why do you get it? Oh, this is five now. Six. Samurai warriors. <laughs> the blades? Yeah. Sogger. Perch. It's a perch, it's big. Yep, 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 yep. yep. A giant. Yes. <laughs> nice one. I was rolling. <laughs> yeah, right in that. See the weeds? <laughs> I do see the weeds. Yeah. I, I, I kept casting, kept casting, kept casting until I caught weeds. That's a male. Yep. I think. Who knows? Oh, that's a female. How big is she? Looks like a, about 11, maybe 10 and a half. I think so. 11? I'm thinking 11 and a half, almost 12. You're right. 11, Basically, 10 and three quarter. I would say 11 if you point, if I grab the tail. Yeah. Yep. She's just bent a little bit. Solid 11. Lots of eaters today, except for Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Got lucky. Oh, that was a pretty good day on the water. We caught some nice perch. We didn't get a ton of jumbos, but I did have that one nice 14-incher. Just goes to show the potential of the perch in the Mississippi River. I hope you guys liked today's video and maybe even learned something. Until next time, thanks for watching.